Hello everyone, Robert Rambles here, and welcome back to World of Warcraft Dragonflight and our Human Paladin leveling campaign. Thank you guys very much for joining me today. I really do appreciate you clicking on the video and spending some time with me. Hope you're all doing well. Uh, we are headed out to the western part of Duskwood to continue right where we left off. However, we are going to try a random classic era dungeon as a tank. So this will be the first time that I've tanked in retail, uh, you know, maybe in like six, seven, eight, ten years. It's been a long time. I've, uh, I've done some tanking in Classic, I've done some tanking in Wrath, done a little bit of tanking in Season of Discovery, but it's been, it's been a very, very long time since I've tried my hand at tanking in retail. So hoping that works out. Uh, as a tank, we will probably get a queue pretty quickly. But let's go ahead and head over to the east now, and we'll work on the Widow of Venom Sex. Kind of what I figured. Oh, of course, it's Dire Maul. A dungeon that I'm not familiar with at all. One of the few classic dungeons that I've really never done. Uh, it looks like we are in the middle of things here. Um, yeah, not really sure where everybody's at or what they're doing. I guess we went up top here. It's okay, they don't even need a tank. Well, the bad news is we're not really being healed, so... Not really sure what's going on with that. Maybe we'll get healed during the next pull. And we're dead. <laughs> so far, all is not really well 
in tank land. So far, it's not well. Uh, we start right back at the at the dungeon entrance. That puts us really, really far from where we need to be. So I, I think that best case scenario, they go ahead and they find themselves a different tank. And we go ahead and we keep doing exactly what we're doing. Not really sure what the deal is with that. Uh, you know, it could be us. Maybe we don't have enough gear to tank. I don't really know. And I really don't know how badly I'd like to find out. So let's just keep on keeping up. We'll try again next time. We will try again in the next episode. Maybe we'll get something that actually I'm a little bit more familiar with the route. Maybe we'll get something where we get in at the beginning of the run and we can kind of set the pace. It's it's pretty likely that, you know, I'll, pro I'll probably never make any groups happy with my tanking or retail. That's very likely. You're apparently, you're just not supposed to need healing. That's kind of the lesson that I learned, that if you do need healing, you're, you're probably not going to get it. If I had known that a little bit better, I'd use my holy power to focus on healing myself, which is maybe what I'll do next time. If I look at the meters here... Uh, for some reason I don't- I was gonna check data to see how much DPS the healer was doing. But I don't get that data out, outside the run it seems. Alright, let's see. Let's go back, we'll turn this one in, and then we'll see what's next. I am going to spec us uh, for loot options. I'm going to go into Retribution so that maybe we can get a two-hander to drop soon. And if a two-hander drops, or if we get one from a quest, we can go ahead and we'll try out Ret spec. Here, to be fair, we'll, we'll give it one more. Oh, we can't. We got ten minutes. So yeah, next time we'll, next time we'll try to tank one more. It could have just been that healer. It could have just been that group. We we don't know. What we do know is that for whatever reason, we know their prior tank left. So it could be. Now that I think about it, maybe there was an issue uh, with the healer that caused the other tank to leave. So we'll, we'll try one more time before I give up completely on tanking in retail. But obviously, a pretty disheartening experience to start things off. Threat seemed okay. It seemed like we were keeping threat just fine. That was, you know, the positive side.
let's have a look at our talents. Uh, we can go Ardent Defender reduces all damage taken by 20% for 8 seconds. While Ardent Defender is active, the next attack that would otherwise kill you will instead bring you to 20% of your max HP. That's on a 2 minute cooldown. Inspiring Vanguard. Grand Crusader's chance to occur is increased by 20% and it grants you 2% strength for 8 seconds. Barricade of Faith. When you use Avenger Shield, your block chance is increased. I kind of like that as like just a default tanking of talent. Let's grab that one for now. We'll grab Ardent Defender next time. And then we probably have to look over here. While you're standing in your Consecrate, Hammer of Righteous also causes a wave of light. Hammer of Righteous. I don't... I don't seem to have a Hammer of Righteous. What am I missing here? Huh. Hammer of Justice. Maybe it's referencing an ability I don't have yet? Hammer of Righteous. Yeah, we, we don't seem to have that unless I am... Just can, we have Justice, we have Wrath. Huh, okay. Well, I, I don't know. I have no idea what that's about. Maybe it'll be clear eventually. The strange thing is... Uh, let's see. We have no quests. Why do we have no quests? Why does this say we have a quest? The fate of Morbent Fell, it says. There, there, there is no quest here. <laughs> like, we can all... We can all see that it says there's a quest. We can all see that there is no actual quest on offer. Um, watch Oliver, Harris, and Jitter's attempt to cure. Okay. Yeah, they're not. They're not doing that. <laughs> they were not doing anything. Let's try again. Okay, here we go. Now they're doing something. Uh, while they're doing that, let's go vendor. Oh, we do have a two-handed axe. But we'll stay prop for now, so I'll go ahead and sell it. Okay, okay, we got it that time. Oh, that's a nice proc. We could definitely use a blue shield. We we have a, a really bad... Maybe part of the reason we got killed. Our, our shield had 16 armor on it. Okay. Well, that's going to be a lot better. Oh, there we go. Now we have some more quests to do.
Alright, so we're not fighting Morbenfell right now. We're collecting his wardrobe? Not sure. We picked up his hat, it looked like. Let's visit the Weathered Grave out back. Alright, now we need to find the Light Forged Rod. I think the Light Forged Rod is underground. Uh, deep in the crypt, if I'm not mistaken. So that should be fun.
All right, it looks like we're going even deeper through the little secret shortcut here. We found a clue. For the final piece, approach the dark portal. I, I have no idea what this is. I love that the game cheers for us like a sitcom laugh track. Uh, when we find it though. The dark portal. Okay, well we know where that is. And I was contemplating questing in the Blasted Lands eventually, so... Maybe we'll check that out in time. We have an unspent talent point. Increases the duration of Divine Steed. Divine Steed has two charges. Two different talents for Divine Steed. Just, I have to take one to get into Avenging Wrath. So I'm going to go with uh, two charges, please. There we go. Apparently Morbenfell has set up a Skolomance style classroom here, where he teaches the dark arts. Now the question is, is there a way out? Yes, it looks like there is a quicker way out over here. Yes, there we go. Uh, what do we want here? We want the belt. Definitely, definitely the belt. So that takes care of Morbid Fell. Uh, we don't seem to have anything else to do out here at the outpost. So let's fly back to Darkshire and turn in the one quest we do have. That's probably going to chain into a quest for more Ladim, if I had to guess. We could go do the Blasted Lands soon. There's nothing saying that we don't do the Blasted Lands before we do the Plague Lands. Um, I haven't been to the Blasted Lands in a while, I don't think. Not that I remember, at least. Although there is a Warlords of Draenor quest here for the Dark Portal. That kind of worries me a little bit. Ah, yes. No, see, this is... You have to go talk to this person. And they either put you in the Warlords of Draenor Blasted Land, or they put you... In the Cataclysm Blasted Land. So we have to make sure that we are uh, in the... I came here once and it was like a big war with, uh, with the Dark Iron Orcs or whatever they were called. The ones through the Dark Portal and Alternate Draenor. And so I, I think by default it might be locked into the Warlords of Draenor era.
Yep, now we're going after Morladim. He is, uh, he's patrolling somewhere all the way out in the cemetery. I'm really surprised that they didn't, uh, move him much closer. They reorganized almost all the other quests to make them, like, much more convenient compared to their classic era counterparts. This one still has us going to the other side of the zone, so let's jump on a flight point, and we'll go take care of him. We killed them in Season of Discovery without a group, so I'm kind of hoping that if we can kill him in a version of Classic on our own, that we can kill him in Retail on our own. But we will see. Alright, so, this is not Morladim, this is Morladim, there he is, come here buddy. Alright, he's taken significant damage, I think we're going to be absolutely fine with this one. We even have time to grab a few screenshots for the thumbnail. This is a decent time to go ahead and use our Hearthstone. We might not have another opportunity today to use it as effectively. Take the ring back out to the grave. Since we don't have Righteous Fury or anything else, I'm kind of operating under the assumption that as a tank spec, we simply generate more threat than other specs. I don't have any proof to back this up. 
but yeah, I don't I don't see I don't really see anything in any of our abilities that increases our threat. So I'm assuming it has to be inherent with being in tank spec. We are going to have a chain of enemies to take care of. I don't want to fight Morladim again and all these guys. So, we'll stop over here. Oh, they all leased except for the one. That's very nice of them. Super considerate. An old history book. This no longer begins a quest. Look at that. The item still drops, but the quest is gone. This used to take you back to the Stormwind Library. Interesting. Uh, yeah, I think we go ahead and we take a one-handed sword here. Obviously, we take the restored Arceus. And we equip that bad boy. Uh, and with that, we have completed all of the Duskwood quest. Duskwood questing is over. Uh, okay, so, like, if I wanted to go to the Blasted Lands, we could do that. We'd have to run through Swamp of Sorrows. And, yeah, I, I think that's what I, I think that's what I want to do. We can't fly there yet, unfortunately, so it's not, we can't easily get there, but we can get there easily enough. My effing god. So what bad luck do I have? Why in the F do we keep getting this dungeon? I am starting to really hate this place. Literally, we could get any other dungeon. Any other dungeon. And I would be pretty freaking familiar with it. Even if we got Maradon. I would be more familiar with freaking Maradon. But we're getting Dire Maul. I feel like the game is basically just setting me up to fail here. Yeah, I, I don't know the way through these runs. I'm not familiar with the enemies or the bosses. And everyone else is probably going to be more familiar than me. And they're probably going to run off and, and whatever happens after that, you know. The only good thing is we, we do seem to be able to hold threat okay. Apparently we're going a way that makes no sense to me. So yeah, let, let's just cut through the middle. I guess we're cutting. We could go around, but we're not going around. We're just cutting through the middle. 
Let's just run with Reckless Abandon ahead of the group. As a tank, that's, that's probably the best thing to do. Uh, we have a little icon here. We don't even have time to investigate why or what for. Let's just keep going. If we don't, the mage will pull everything and tank it themselves. I, I'm not going to touch anything that he pulls, so I'll just let them kill whatever he pulls and we'll keep going. I'm not really sure why my details is broken today. It was working fine yesterday. Today it's not showing any other players. Which is pretty useless, we can agree. I'm sure yeah, like I said, I'm sure we're not going the way that makes sense. Why would we why would we continue going a way that makes sense? That that would be too weird. Maybe if I do die or maul once, we won't ever get it again.
Instead of saying something in party chat, pinging the map a billion times is also really useful, I heard. Just ping the map a bazillion times. Well, there we go. Relatively painless. Intercession. Petition the light on behalf of a fallen ally, restoring the spirit to the body and allowing them to re-enter battle. Oh. Yeah, that's nice. Let's see if we can teleport out, teleport back in. That way we can maybe turn in some of the quests. Not really sure if we completed any of the quests or not, but we can have a look. Yeah, we did. Well, that was definitely more successful than our prior attempt, so not bad overall. And I do think I'm going to take a break right here for today. Uh, next time, I will get us into the Blasted Lands, and we will continue our journey there. Thank you guys very much for being here today. I really do appreciate all the support. If you are digging the series, leaving a like, making sure you're subbed to the channel, that stuff helps me out a lot, and I really appreciate those that do. Until next time, take care of yourselves out there and take care of each other, and we will see you back in Azeroth again very soon. Bye for now.